hello and welcome to the channel for today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you how i made this simple bag stop so if it's your first time viewing my channel please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always supporting my channel so let's start so here is my pattern and i've gone ahead to mark one inch for my zipper allowance because there's going to be a zip at the front part of this dress so all my measurement is going to start from that zipper allowance and i went ahead to mark my shoulder to bust shoulder to under bust shoulder to waistline and so for your basket you're going to measure four inches but i don't want mine to be too long and i'm going to go ahead to measure three inches and i'll add half inch directly on my pattern the next thing i'm going to do is to mark my neckline and i'm going to use the standard neckline which is three inches by three inches so i'm going to mark it at the width and at the depth so after doing that i'm just going to place my french curve and i'm going to connect so i'll go ahead to extend this down to the zipper allowance next step is to mark my shoulder divided by two and i'm going to start the measurement at my zipper allowance so i added half inch because i'm attaching sleeve and i'm going to come down by one inch so at that point i'm going to connect it back to my neckline drawing my shoulder slope or my shoulder slant so from there i'm going to get my chest line which is your bust circumference divided by six plus 1.5 inches and i'm going to mark so from that line i'm going to draw a straight line indicating my chest line so what i'm going to do right now is to place my tape and i'm going to bring it down to that point this way so after doing that i'm going to place my tape and i'm going to measure what i have here i have seven inches divided by two i have 3.5 and i'm going to be going in by half inch so at that half inch i'm going to go down to my chest line and i'm going to insert my bust side conference divided by four so i'm going to make a mark and i'll go ahead to use my pencil to draw out the armhole curve because i'm still going to extend the armhole because i'm making use of a princess that pattern and i'm going to go ahead and label cl so at the under bust i'm going to mark my nipple to nipple divided by two and all my measurement is starting from the zipper allowance so i'm going to go down and mark it at my waist and at my bust length so i'm going to draw a straight line at that point so right now what i'm going to do is to take my dart intake at both sides so for that i'm just going to go ahead to mark one inch at both sides at the waistline i'm going to mark one inch at both sides at the basque or top length i'm going to mark one inch at both sides so i'll go ahead and place my ruler and i'm going to use my marker to connect it at both sides of my pattern so after connecting it also i'm going to go ahead to mark my nipple to nipple measurement at the bust and at the chest line so i'm going to place my ruler and i'm going to extend my line to that point so after extending it i'm going to place my french curve touching my under bust and my bust line and i'm going to draw my curve so after that i'm going to place my cup at the my french curve at the other side and i'm going to go ahead to also draw my cup at this part for my princess that i'm going to place my french curve touching that three and a half inches at the armhole my armhole circumference that i divided by two and touching the chest line so i'm going to go ahead and draw a curve and this is what i have so i'm going to go down measure half inch up and half inch down so after doing that i'm just going to place my french curve and i'm going to connect it down to the original line that i marked before so after marking it out the next step i'm going to take right now is to go ahead and measure the half inch at both sides and then i'm going to be extending it out by one inch from that armhole curve and i'll go ahead to use my french curve and i'll extend it out this way next i'm going to insert my bust circumference 
divided by four and i'm going to go ahead to mark and i'll add my sewing allowance of 1.5 inch going down to my under bust i'm going to mark my under bust side conference and i'm going to measure my dart intake which is two inches and i will mark my sewing allowance which is 1.5 inches so remember all my measurement is starting from the zipper line so after doing that um the next step is to go down to my waistline and i'm going to mark my waist side conference divided by four after marking that i'm going to go ahead to measure the dart intake i have and i'm going to replace it and mark my sewing allowance so whatever i have at this point i'm just going to extend it down to the top length the reason why i'm doing this is because i'm going to be having a basque at that point so there's no need in starting my hip circumference and my pattern paper is short at that part so i'll go ahead to connect my line what i have at my bust i'll extend to my chest line extend down to my under bust my waist and down to my top length so at this part by the time you're done joining your pattern is going to be even so i'll go ahead to place my french curve and i'm going to draw my armhole so i'll go ahead to outline the necessary part of my pattern so after that we are going to be altering the neck of this particular dress so what i'm going to do is to place my tape from that zipper allowance i'm going to be going inwards by half inch so after marking that what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go down and extend this particular line down to my chest line but before i reach my chest line i'm going to be going up by half inch at my chest line so i'll go ahead and i'll connect and this is what i'll be having at my neckline and i'll blend out the line so that it will be even so after blending it out at that point i'm just going to draw a straight line out because that's where my zipper will be stopping for this particular pattern so after doing this the next step is just to go ahead to cut out my pattern so after i'm done cutting out my pattern this is what i have for the front part so to achieve my basque i'm going to go ahead to place my waistline touching each other and i'm going to measure my sewing allowance which is 1.5 inches from my waist and after that i'm going to place my ruler and i'm going to draw a straight line connecting to the front part of my pattern so after doing this what i'm going to do is just to go ahead to cut this out so this is my front pattern and we'll be moving over to the back pattern so for my back pattern i went ahead to add paper at the down part because my pattern paper was not enough i'm sorry it is looking rough actually so this is my basic measurement i have marked out and for the neckline for the back i, I used three by two inches and right now i'm going to mark my dart to mark my dart is my shoulder to bust plus one inch and i will mark so from that point i'm going to be going in by 3.5 inches which is my nipple to nipple divided by two i'm going to mark it at my under bust and waist so the, the back pattern does not have a zip so so what i'm going to do is to go ahead and draw a straight line connecting those marks and at my waist part i'm going to go ahead to mark half inch at both sides after marking that half inch i'm just going to place my ruler and i'm going to draw and extend it to that point next i'm going to insert my bust side conference divided by four inches so after marking that i'm going to go ahead to mark my 1.5 sewing inches allowance and i'm going to go to my other bust mark my other bust side conference measure the dart intake i'm going to mark and then mark my 1.5 inch sewing allowance going down to the lower part of my dress i'm going to measure my waist side conference measure the dart intake and mark and go ahead to add my sewing allowance at that point so after doing that i'll just go ahead to connect the line i have at the bust down to the chest line and then i'll go down to my under bust and my waist so the next step i'm going to take is to cut out my back piece or back pattern so this is my pattern for the front and back and i'm going to place and cut out my pattern 
on my fabric and here it is i added joining allowance which is half inch round and i didn't add at the side because i've already added my sewing allowance so i'm going to unpin my back pattern and this is what it is and i'm going to place my lining on it to turn it up and so my that's the back pattern so going over to the front pattern this is what i have so i'm just going to place it the same way i'm going to join it so i'll place this part this way and place this part this way so i'll go ahead to join it with half inches so whatever i do here i'll also do on the lining piece of for this particular pattern then after joining i'll go ahead to iron it so after joining this is what i have to turn my lining with my fabric i'm going to switch my lining this way and i'm going to place it on each side so what i'm going to do right now is to go ahead to sew the neckline down to the zipper side with half inch and i'm going to sew this part with half inch and also the side with half inch so i'm going to repeat the same process for both of them i'm also going to turn the back pattern of my dress after sewing my back this is what i have and i went ahead to insert the dots so this is my front right now what i'm going to do is to join the neckline so to join the neckline i'm going to bring the two shoulders together this way then i'm going to take one the one in the front and i'm going to use the back to wrap the one in the front this way so after wrapping it what i'm going to do right now is just to go to the sewing machine and i'm going to sew with half inch i will repeat the same process for the other shoulder too so after sewing for my zipper allowance i used one inch after turn up i have half remaining so i'm going to use that half inch to attach zip to the front of this dress so after attaching my shoulder and zipper to this dress this is what i have the next step is to draft my sleeve so what i'm going to do is a freehand sketch so the total length of my sleeve is 19 inches plus half inch joining allowance and the width is nine and a half inches so i'm just going to do a freehand at the upper part of my sleeve because i'm just going to pleat my sleeve a bit at the upper part so after doing this i'll just go ahead to cut it out so after cutting out my sleeve the next thing i'm going to also cut out is the band that i'm going to be attaching to the lower part of the dress so i measured my wrist round and i cut out three inches on food so i'll be attaching it to the lower part of my sleeve so before doing that i'm just going to go ahead to place this on my my dress and i'm going to gather it a bit and i will sew with half inch and i will do that at both sides after doing that i'm going to take this band i cut out and fold it and i'm going to place it at this part and i'm going to gather it right round so i'll just go over to the sewing machine and i'm going to go ahead to sew that so after attaching my sleeve this is what it is looking like this is what the dress is looking like so the next step is to shape my dress and i'm going to flip it to the wrong side this way after that i'm just going to go ahead to pin it down after pinning it down i'll mark my measurements at my under bust i'm just going to go ahead to mark that because that point is very obvious so after that i'm just going to go ahead to mark my waist my shoulder to waist point after marking my shoulder to waist point i'm going to place my tape back at my under bust and i'm going to mark my bust point so next what i'm going to do is to insert my body measurements so at the bust part i have 18 and a half inches and my bust circumference is 33 inches divided by two i have 16 and a half so what i'm going to be doing right now is 18 and a half minus 16 and a half and half i have two inches i'll go ahead to mark one inch at both sides place my tape and measure 16 and a half and mark going down to my waist at my under bust i'm going to measure what i have so i have 17 and a half at that point and my under bust side conference is 28 divided by 2 i have 14 so what i will do is 17 and a half minus 14 i have 3.5 so i'm just going to fold my tape this way and whatever i have at this point i'll go ahead to mark it first so after marking it i'm going to connect it to my bust line so from that point i'm going to place my tape and i will mark my 
but on that both circumference divided by two which is 14 and i'll connect the other side going to my waist i'm still going to measure what i have there after measuring my waist i have 17 so what i'm going to do my waist circumference is 28 28 divided by 2 i have 14 then i'll do 17 minus 14 i have 3 inches and i'm just going to fold my tape after folding it i'll place a mark 1.5 inch here from that point i'm going to mark my waist circumference divided by 2 which is 14 inches and i'm going to go ahead to mark it so after marking it what i'm just going to do is to mark one inch i'm just going to connect what i have at my bust down to my sleeve with one inch and i'm just going to sew so with this we have come to the end of the tutorial please like share and subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and turn on your notification button to get new updates from my channel thank you